What's kicking, guys? So, it is early today. Um, I'm gonna be making a little bit of well, quick breakfast while I'm talking to you guys. Um, yeah, so it's early. Um, not, well, not really early, actually. Usually, like, when I get up ready for work, it's, like, not even 5 o'clock when I wake up. And it's absolutely depressing. So, today I have a day off. I'm gonna get the MVI down on my car. It's the 31st of August today. And, uh, usually my breakfast consists of breakfast of champions, guys. Everyone's got breakfast. Toast waffles. They're nice and quick, they're good, and maple syrup is the food of Canadians. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go get my MVI done on my car. I thought Canadian Tire opened up at si uh, 7. Apparently it doesn't open up till 8. So I woke up at like 6 o'clock, and I was just laying in bed past an hour watching YouTube videos and whatnot, so it's now like 7.30 or something. So I'm gonna grab a quick little bite to eat, and then uh, head on out. It's a pro tip when making waff toast waffles. Waffles are different. Toaster waffles are completely different though. Boom, they just popped. Oh my god, best feeling ever is when toaster waffles popped like nice and hot. Mmm, perfect. Need syrup though. So, toaster waffles, I usually set them between like four to five minutes. That's like a perfect amount of crispiness. Always go eggos, guys. Spring for the eggos. First bite, always best. Mmm, that probably looks super flattering. <laughs> oh my god, waffles, you guys. Beat pancakes. Let me know in the comments down below. Waffle or pancakes? If you say pancakes, you're wrong. Sorry. But opinions are opinions. I just heard me. I haven't seen my dog yet this morning. Callie, where is she? So she has so many beds around the house. Like, there's one. There's another one. Here's another one on the couch with blankets. I think there's no. No, we moved that one from there to here. Let's see if we can find Callie. Where is she? Oh no, she's not on this bed either. So she's another bed right here. She's a little actually like a bench just on the windowsill. So she can like see outside into the driveway. It's actually kind of cool. So she sits there during the day and waits for us to come home. Oh, she might be in the laundry room. Oh my God, she's gonna be so cute. Ah. Right. Is she there? She there, she there, she there. She's not, what? Oh yeah, she's having, she's having like a bed in the laundry room too. Where's Callie? Is she upstairs? She might... It's weird, she never usually goes upstairs in the mornings. Ah, she must be so go see if we can find Callie. Callie, where are you, Callie? Callie. <laughs> oh, there you are, my baby. Look at her. She's so cute with the blanket. <gasps> oh, you're so precious. Oh, tail eggs and everything. Yeah. Okay, you're just resting in mom's bed, aren't you? Yeah, okay. All right, I'll leave you alone. I'll let you get some rest. Okay. So that's my dog. <laughs> she's adorable. She's a Havanese. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. But what time is it? It's, uh, I don't have my watch on. Half past a freckle, I guess. Um, all right. I think it's like quarter two or something, so I'm just going to quickly down this uh, apple juice. I thought it would. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna go brush my teeth and uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get to Canadian Tire. So before I go to get my uh, car MVI, I just gotta show you my bike. Look at that. Is she not a beauty? Look. Woo. Nala looking so beautiful today. <laughs> I had to get that short my mom walked in on me. She was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh man, I haven't told her to start vlogging yet, so she's gonna catch me mid stuff. I'm just gonna try to keep it like a little secret. She knows all of my YouTube stuff. She's a huge supporter. She was like, I like, think subscriber number 80 or something. So, yeah, so let's start this baby up. So, my bike is uh, called uh, Nala. Whoops. And my car is called Cavi. She's a 2004 uh, Chevy Cavalier coupe. Looks beautiful. A little messy in the back seat right now. Just have a, like, a binder and a hat and some stuff. So, yeah. That's it, I'm gonna drive. No texting and driving, kids. Big lesson, don't use your phone while driving, so seek names are. All right, so Scott is not one happy camper right now. Not anyone else's fault but mine, kind of, sort of. So I guess, like usually I just show up like right when they open and it's usually pretty good to go. I'm just gonna walk around for a minute. My car is parked right there. Um, and I'm usually pretty good to go just cause you show up first thing, they usually have like some walk-in slots or whatever. I guess they don't today, for whatever reason. I don't know why, but that's upsetting. So, they did be able to squeeze me in this afternoon, but not until like two o'clock, so that kind of sucks. I'd have to wait another like, what is it, six hours before I can get in to get my MBI done. But it is what it is, it's all good. Um, 
I don't know why I'm walking right now. It's kind of crappy weather. I might just go for a bike ride. But, oh well. Anyway. Yeah, so anyway, six hours. So I might just drive home, chill out there for a bit. See what happens. I might mess around with some Yugo cars. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But, uh, yeah, overall, not not too impressed. Um, I thought I'd just be able to, you know, go in and out, be done by 9 o'clock, and then have the rest of the day to myself. But there's nothing more infuriating, seriously, than having to... Like go in for an appointment in the afternoon because then all day I don't know maybe this is just the way I think about it basically like when I have an appointment in the afternoon I think like my whole morning is shot because I'm waiting for that appointment to happen in the afternoon and then it doesn't happen until like 2 o'clock and that's the whole day gone and then your day is just wasted and that's kind of frustrating but what can you do so <laughs> oh, that dude probably thought I was crazy oh well you know <laughs> I actually used to work at the Sobeys right here if you guys don't know in America or anywhere else in the world Sobeys is like a Canadian grocery store I, I think it's just Canadian is it is it in, if, if it's in the states let me know I really don't know I don't think that's I don't think it is though um I'm pretty sure it's just Canadian anyway uh, it started in Canada so anyway that's where I worked for like my first part-time job uh, actually, my first part-time job was at uh, M&M's Meat Shop. My second part-time job was at Sobeys. M&M's was just like a seasonal thing. I only worked there for like one winter just to help them out over the holidays, right? But, uh, yeah. So I worked at Sobeys for like two years in the meat department. So I was helping to cut meat, serve customers. I did a lot of cleaning. There was a lot of cleaning in my first uh, year and a bit of working there, though. It was just like cleaning down all the prep rooms, the cutting rooms, and cutting all the saws and all that stuff. Yeah, it was not a fun time. But it was a good job, it was a good first job. Taught me a lot of uh, hard work ethic and you know attention to detail by getting all the little bits of uh, the meat off the stuff. You know, sanitary, hygiene, all that stuff. So it's pretty good. So now we're just walking, it's called Downsview Plaza. If you guys don't know, I, pro I live in the Sackville. If you guys don't know where that is, that's fine, but hey, here's Downsview. <laughs> we used to have a lot of stuff. Sorry, there's this promo video, I'll try to link it in the description down below. It's, uh, it's a thing about Lower Sackville in Nova Scotia. And it's, this guy did it like, I don't know, five years ago or something, it was a while ago. And I'm just gonna switch arms here. And basically, um, it was just like highlighting all the good stuff about Sackville when there really is none. <laughs> so it's like, we had a Walmart once, but it's in Bedford now. And at the very end of the video, it's like on the highway leaving Sackville, and it's like, lower Sackville, keep going. You're almost to Bedford. So it's like not even people that are in Sackville want to be in Sackville. It's actually kind of, it's pretty funny. I love it. Everyone who's from Sackville who's seen it, it just finds it absolutely hilarious. So, oh, there's some dude like waiting for a pizza hut to open up. Dude, it's like seven o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock or whatever. Just don't, you don't need to go to pizza. Um, yeah, there's Cleves there, sports shops. We have a bit of like stores down here and everything. So it's not too, too bad, but you know, it is what it is. We have a theater, we have Wendy's down there. I hope you can see it, can't really tell. Anyway, it's pretty gray and cloudy. It's it's not too cold. I think it's probably like about 18 degrees or 15 or something. Oh, that's Celsius, by the way, if you're Americans. It's not 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Canada isn't that, whole, isn't that cold. <laughs> Contrary to believe. Ooh, it's a shopping cart. I wonder where the shopping cart belongs to. I think it might be like Sobeys or something. I might just bring it back, just because. I think it's a Sobeys shop. Yeah, it is. All right, let's go for a ride. Let's go for shopping cart. Let's go for shopping cart uh, mishaps. Right, here we are in the shopping cart. First person view. We're going. Oh, there's a car. Look out for the cars. Okay. We're going. We're going. We're going. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 Scott! What are you doing? You got to follow the rules of the road, bud. All right. I can't just cut into parking lots. That is super illegal here in Canada. Let's go up here. We have to make a big old right hand turn. So, I've kind of cut through a parking lot here, but I'm doing okay. I would try to like go bowling, but uh, there's a car there, so I'm going to try it. Like from here, can we get it? Hey! Hey, Von Scott's a good citizen. What do you know? Sweet. All right. So, well, this is reverse camera now, so I really can't see what I'm recording. Maybe it's not even my face. Maybe it's not recording. I don't know. I'm just going to ramble on. Let's head back to my car. Um, I'm going to head back home, I think. So, and then after that, I don't know. I'll find something to do. I'll figure something out. Your boy's pretty, uh, pretty good. I think I've lot things in the last uh, minute. Obviously, that's a lie because I can't even know what words to say. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. All the way back. You guys can't probably read that backwards. You are. <laughs> it says, if you can read backwards, do not remove shopping carts from Sobeys property. That was not Sobeys property. So, 
All right, this straight up. So this is probably gonna screw up part of the video. Boop, there we go. It's a bit better. Maybe, maybe it is. Oh, maybe I'm recording the sideways the whole time and it actually won't be sideways because I have orientation lock on. You know what, I bet it is. <laughs> All right, so change of plans a little bit, guys. So I was literally just leaving the um, uh, Canadian Tire to get my uh, car MVI, right? And it didn't happen, push till two o'clock, whatever. And as I was getting my car to drive away, uh, work on my second job at the hospital, I have two jobs at the hospital, um, texted me and was like, hey, we had a sick call for today. Do you wanna come in for like the whole day or just the afternoon? And I honestly, I love it there so much. I really wish I could go in for the whole day. But uh, I have the MBI too now, like I said, I got pushed. So I text them as well, I can come in for the morning. They're like, yeah, the morning is super busy, so if you can come in and help us out, that'd be great. So I'm just about to get changed here and do a, uh, well, I'm gonna change my pants. This shirt's acceptable for the work I'm doing today. So, see you in a sec. All right, so got my glasses on, got my slacks on, you know, because I was wearing jeans before, so I'm just gonna wear slacks. And, good side of this, I'm gonna take my bike into work because it's not raining outside and I'm super excited about that. So I got my ID and everything here too, gonna, that around the neck. All right, so I'm gonna get changed, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a moment. Whew, oh, I just got home. Um, <laughs> all right, so I meant to record after I left the hospital, but I forgot to, but yeah, so I just walked home. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon, so I got time to like eat. I'm gonna grab a quick bite to eat here for lunch. And then I think after that, I have my MVI's at two o'clock, so I'm gonna head off. I still haven't gotten unchanged yet. <laughs> Oh, actually, with the videos I've taken, I think it's gonna be like I got dressed and then I got home undressed. So, <gasps> puppy, Gally, uh, oh my puppy, you're so pretty. <gasps> Look, watch her, watch her, watch her. Oh, she just like rolls right over on her belly. Look at that, she's so cute. <gasps> you're so precious, yes you are. Oh, ho, ho. and she loves giving her kisses. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. Yeah, oh, ho, ho. she loves her belly rubs. <laughs> oh yeah, I love you, Callie. You're so great. Oh, oh, big yawn. Oh, see, this is what happens when we come home. We wake her up from her nap and she gets really upset with us. She's like, just give me scratches, humans, and it's okay. Oh, there you go, yeah. So yeah, time to grab some lunch and uh, and head into my MBI, so I'll see you soon. Look at that, it's a lunch of champions. Ravioli, like night good ravioli, french fries and corn and a taco bake. That is how you do lunch, my friends. Okay. Dropping up my car for the MVI, take two, let's get her done. Success! Aha, I dropped off my car for the MVI. Well, actually, my car is still right there. But they're gonna be picking up in like just a couple minutes, and then it should only take like, guy said half hour to an hour, it's not too bad. I'm just gonna walk around here like I did this morning, and uh, yeah, see what happens. So, once again, this is my first vlog. You guys have been watching, it's probably just over like 10, 12 minutes an hour or something. I might cut some stuff out. Let me know what you think. The time lapses look a little fast, and I was just looking through them. Um, I'm gonna try to see what I can do so we can slow those down a bit. They might not be as fast, but they're like ridiculously fast when I'm uh, when I'm watching here on my phone. So just let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, whatever you want me to hear me talk about. So this is kind of like a weird vlog day. It's just kind of me going to get my MBI done, then one thing led to another, and some weird stuff in between, and now finally getting checked out. So I'll show you guys a little thing of the new sticker once it's all put on, and I'll talk to you soon. Well, guys, got some bad news. So just took my MBI to get done. And uh, unfortunately, Cavi, my beautiful 2004 Cavalier, got me through my last year of high school, got me through all of university, and then some did, uh, did not pass her MVI severely, really, really bad. I guess the uh, subframe broken in uh, two places, the brake lines aren't working properly, the pads and rotors aren't doing too hot. I guess overall, in order to pass his MVI, it would have been, I don't know, they're quoting me, just, he didn't price it up exactly. He's like, but just eyeballing it, it'd be like three or four thousand dollars Canadian. So, you know, like five dollars US, but you know, <laughs> joking obviously. Um, it'd be very, very expensive. It would cost more than the car is worth. Like, we got the car for like 3,500, four grand back in like 2012. Like I said, the car is 14 years old now, but you know, it is what it is. So, I mean, I guess I gotta kind of write the car off, unfortunately. So, we'll see what I can get for it. You know, I can't sell it for parts. But I might just be able to scrap it for someone, or maybe I'll sell it to some used car dealer, fix it up, or I don't know. Hope to get anything out of it, right? That's where I'm at now, so uh, at least I sold my bike. <laughs> so I can still ride around every day, so I still get to work and all that. I'm not reliant on other people or anything. So I guess it's a good thing I got my bike this year. So I'm not in any rush. But uh, I definitely need to pick up a new car at some point soon. I know what kind of car I've been looking at, but I think I'll uh, keep looking around a bit. 
see what I can get. Let me know in the comments below now. Uh, hopefully you made it to this point. It's nearing the end of the video because Cavi's, <laughs> Cavi's gonna die. Um, yeah, just let me know what kind of car you think I should get, what I should test ride. I don't know, I have some, I have some ideas in my head. Honestly, I'm still I'm in denial. I can't believe Cavi's gonna go. I've had her for years now. It's been five years, just over. I just got five years in July since I've had Cavi. And now it's like, man, I don't even know. It's crazy. She's, she's right there in the shop. I don't know if you can see her. She's like right there in the doors and they're gonna pull her out. I'm gonna take her home and that's gonna be the last day I can drive her because I, I have to get towed somewhere. I can't, she's not drivable anymore. They've uh, they deemed she's not safe for the road. So it's super upsetting. I'm upset about that. That really sucks. You know what guys, that's life and sometimes you just uh, gotta take things as they come. So thank you to Canadian Tire for, you know, doing all maintenance on Cavi throughout the years. You know, I've always come to Canadian Tire for your work. I went to Walmart for the old change, a little bit cheaper, you know. But they've done all the work to my car from when the uh, battery fails, from when the um, uh, fuel pump crapped out a few times. They really helped me out. They pulled through, they were awesome. So whenever I get my new car, um, or used car, whatever, I probably get a used car. Um, yeah, I'll be definitely coming back here to get my maintenance done because the guys did a great job. They've been really helpful throughout the years. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So guys, I think that's nearing the end of the video. So uh, I need to figure this stuff out and get home. <laughs> All right, so I'm back home. It's a little bit later in the evening. It's like six o'clock or six thirty or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So basically, we got the car home somehow. Um, honestly, I'm not impressed with the entire. So we got the car out of the shop, and that's where I kind of left you guys off. And uh, you know, I immediately, like, I drove a car a little bit just to get to a parking spot, and I found it wouldn't stop, like, the brake wasn't working. It felt really empty, if you guys know what I mean. So maybe I'm thinking, like, there feels like there's no brake fluid or anything, right? And sure enough, one of the technicians broke the brake line. Didn't tell me. Then they tried to blame it on me that I broke the brake line when I drove the car in. And I'm like, uh, no. I took the car in Halifax today. I've been driving it for five years. There was nothing wrong with that car. B brake line was. <laughs> just apparently, there's a lot of stuff wrong with the car. So... Anyway, wasn't impressed with that, but we got the car home safely um, for a little complications, but we're all good now. So the car's here. I'm going to do a little tribute video to my car at some point, probably on the channel. But uh, I'm going to start chopping around for cars. So we'll see what happens. So thank you guys so much for watching this first vlog. Let me know what you think. But uh, this has been Hitman Scott. Keep on kicking.